it's time for new merch and we're continuing our look through all the Wonder Woman 84 official Mattel dolls, yes. And today it's time to get into the villains because we have got Barbara Minerva doll. Yes, take a look at that. Looks a bit more like Elizabeth Olsen if you ask me than Kristen Wiig. But that's Barbara Minerva, gemologist. Yep. And we've also got... Ah! Cheetah! <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little bit more like Kristen Wiig. That's Cheetah all the way down. We're going to have a proper look in a minute once I get them out of the box. But yeah, look at her feet. Look at her feet. And she's got a tail. She's got a tail as well. Yeah, that's the Cheetah. Yes. Woo! So, yep, we got these. I figured I'd show these two together because they're both, you know, Barbara. So, why don't we open Barbara first? The... Naughty Barbara, and then we'll open the cheetah up in just a moment. Uh, oops, snip. Careful the hat. And one more. What's that? Usually we'll do a jump cut of this, but what the hell? Oh, nope. Oh, they've strapped in her hair. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Alright, here we go. So this is just sort of hair out a little bit. It's not, shouldn't be as high as that. So here is Barbara. Yeah, it, it's, it's more like 60s hair than 80s hair, but just keep that, smooth that down a little bit. Right, so that's Barbara. And this is her little outfit. This is when she's becoming bad Barbara, but she's not cheetah yet. So, and she's wearing tights, but not underwear. <laughs> I always check for underwear on dolls. It's just something I did ever since I was a kid. And this is one of your more budget dolls. I can tell because the material on the clothes is uh, it's pretty weak. And her jacket, I don't know if you remember, but in the movie her jacket, it actually didn't look like this. It was a lot darker. You can even tell, the picture isn't so great on the box, but you can tell. Her jacket... It's a lot darker and the collar is actually a different material and it has spikes on it and they haven't really made the effort when it you see you see that and they haven't really made the effort to recreate it when it comes to the doll the t-shirt looks good though and she has got the sort of leopard print or cheetah print rather skirt on and the boots so it's not bad it's a uh, She's even got freckles, actually. I don't know if you can see. I have to get a real close-up. I don't know if I'll be able to show that close-up. But she has got freckles on her face. And that's something Barbara did. I would have actually liked to have the nerdy Barbara doll. You know, when she's not cheetah yet. She's just Barbara. Because that is, that is actually... I know this one is called Gemologist. Well, actually, Barbara... Was well, only a gemologist and she was a nerd. I mean, she was still a gemologist, but this is this is like when she's becoming bad Barbara. I'd have actually liked to have a little doll when she's a little nerdy Barbara. That would have been much more fun. But yeah, we've got this. The hair's nice and soft. It's just a bit too bouncy to be really Barbara. But yeah, it is a it is kind of a likeness to Kristen Wiig. It's not bad. It could have been better. <laughs> yeah, this doll is good, but it could be better. <laughs> See, we need a Maxwell Lord doll now so I can really make that joke. Yeah. And the boots, the boots are those some cheap boots that slip off. So, yeah, I like it though. That should stand up on its own. Since the feet are pretty wide. So, and articulation, smooth articulation. I'm just saying, I'm seeing that now. The, the, knee, the knees do bend. And the, the, the shoes do that so the knees can bend. That's good. Good articulation. Her arms look a bit too long for her body. What do you think? That's just, I don't know, my opinion. But no, I think that's good. So yeah, that's gemologist Barbara Minerva. I'll just put her down. And now, let's get Cheetah out. And I can tell you already, this one will not stand up on its own. I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. I know you've gotten it out. As this is going to require a doll stand because this one is definitely not going to stand on its own. Almost. Just one more. Oops. 
Uh, no. Nope. Hey. And here's Cheetah. Give her. A, let's give her a look. All the way down. Now this is a little bit disappointing, but that that, that because all they've really done, they haven't. It's given her a little bodysuit. See this, this this comes off. They've they haven't have they though have they? No, she's just basic. She's just plain white skin underneath. They haven't painted her uh, cheetah spots under her body. This is basically a little it's a little onesie that they've given her or a fur suit, whatever you prefer. So it's a little cheap, but they, I tell you what though, the the they have done it on the on the feet there. See? They have made a proper cheetah feet. That see that why couldn't they do that? Why couldn't they do this paint work all over the doll, not just the feet? That would be more like a proper cheetah. But I don't know, is that a bit too indecent for a doll that kids are gonna play with? See all they've done is give her this bodysuit and the rest is just plain skin underneath. So that's a little disappointing and you can see you can even see the joins there on the on the suit and they look a bit they look a bit cheap but she does have this tail that moves so yeah yeah you can put the tail up or the tail down depending on her mood yeah so I'm gonna have tail up for a minute and I can tell you that this will not stand up on its own because look at those feet you see how she's got her paws there and that's that's how the feet are there's only that much width from them and they're a bit bumpy and then, but that is like how a cheetah is. It's got the feet there and then this calf. I don't exactly know the, the zoological term for it. But there's no way that's ever going to stand up on its own. So, so all my other dolls do, but the Barbie signature ones, they did come with stands. But the other ones I've opened so far, they do stand on their own. This one's going to require a stand and that's going to not look so good or as good on the shelf. But she does have this cool tail. So we can just... Put her in that pose, maybe. Rawr! Yeah, I want to get her in the pose on the back of the box there. So we need a tail up and one hand like so, and one hand. Rawr! Yeah. So get her like that. Yeah. This other other knee. Yeah, at least she can do that. Yeah, I do like the paws. It's just a shame that that's not going to be able to stand up on its own. Because I prefer it when they do stand up on their own because... I don't really know why I prefer it, I just do. That's my personal preference. They literally just look better on the shelf and they take up less space when you gotta put... When you don't have a stand. Because the stand takes up space. And let's See, face, they actually did make a pretty good effort on the face there. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad at all. I actually did like Cheetah a lot in the movie. I wish she'd been Cheetah for a little bit longer though. I wish that fight had gone on longer. And I honestly think we should have seen Diana kill Cheetah. I thought that's that that's what that fight was leading to. I did. I thought I thought she was gonna kill Cheetah. See, we I think we should have seen her actually kill. Yeah. Yay. So that's that though. That's the cheetah. That is, it is actually pretty good. I just wish they'd made a bit more of an effort and not been so cheap and just made it a bodysuit instead of just painting the whole thing. Maybe that wouldn't have looked as good though. I don't know. Just looks a little bit cheaper. The face is good though. The face does look like Kristen Wiig more than that. That that more than the Diana dolls look look like Gal Gadot. This one does look more like Kristen Wiig. So yeah. We've got gemologist Barbara and a cheetah. So we've got double Kristen Wiig doll today. I wonder if she has the dolls of herself. I actually like Kristen Wiig a lot as an actor. I know people say, oh, she's not funny, she can't act, but I think she is funny and I think she can act. So screw you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a woman. I actually enjoyed her in Ghostbusters. Bridesmaid is, Bridesmaids is hilarious. She's really good on SNL. And she was great in, in Wonder Woman 84. I need, to, I need to brush that hair down a lot though because it shouldn't be that bouncy. It should be more 
flat like that. That's too bouncy right now. See, even on the picture, not as bouncy. So let's get that brushed. I'll get that brushed in my own time and make her look better. But yeah. So I guess that's it for today. We've had two more Wonder Woman 84 dolls. Barbara and the cheetah. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you again soon for more merch. Bye.